I currently focus on a type of acute myeloid leukemia or AML that has a mutation in a gene called WT1. Patients um, who have WT1 mutated leukemia have a poorer prognosis overall than patients who have wild type WT1 um, in their leukemia. And so my goal is to identify the targets of WT1 um, to identify the reasons why WT1 mutations cause leukemia, um, how WT1 contributes to normal blood cell development, um, and if there are changes to therapy that we can make um, to specifically treat patients with that mutation. I had a patient in residency when I was a, an intern at the University of Michigan um, who was an 18-year-old young man with AML. I became very close with him and his family. His disease never went into remission, so he was diagnosed in February of 2011 and was in the hospital until July of 2011 when he died uh, in the ICU and he had undergone three or four different types of chemotherapy, each one more toxic than the next, uh, without ever having his body be free of leukemia. And it was really that experience with him that motivated me to study AML. I learned that our therapies aren't that good. Um, the agents that we have, we've been using for 30, 40, 50 years. They're incredibly toxic. They're incredibly difficult for patients to tolerate. and a lot of times they don't work and we don't have good explanations for why they don't work. Having a four-year award really gives me a lot of freedom to spend several years not writing grants for one-year awards um, over and over again, but instead to really dedicate my time to the lab and the project um, with the freedom of knowing that it, that it is a, a longer award um, than most of the other ones, especially for pediatric oncology. The donors for the Sohn Foundation and the Damon Runyon Foundation uh, have made a huge impact on pediatric cancer. It allows us as the Sohn Fellows to participate both in the research that is provided from that award, but also in these wonderful retreats, which bring us together with people from all sorts of scientific backgrounds, which is really unique in the world of pediatric cancer funding. Uh, being here with biophysicists and molecular biologists and microbiologists, uh, in addition to people doing really interesting clinical research, is incredibly unique and something that you don't find in the more clinical pediatric oncology awards. So I would thank them for providing us with this op amazing opportunity.